students from Ukraine pursuing their further education on them. Ah, you see, online medical education is never successful. You see, we are running many of the programs, also which are online programs, but they are mix of that. You know, if I will say that if I, I was running postgraduate diploma in geriatric medicine or you know online program, predominantly online for the students are asked to come to the center, whichever is the center which is running the program, so as to you know sharpen their skills and have one to one interaction. There is because there is a lot to face to face interaction because if they're going to practice geriatric care, how they're going to practice geriatric care unless they see a geriatric patient first of all under supervision because they have to first of all know, they have to know how, they have to show and they have to show how and then they have to independently perform. So there is a lot of medical education which is competency based and also it is skill based. So that is where you see medical education online is never going to be successful. So that's where my take is that we always have a skill based education. Theoretical education, you can cater to 300, 400, 500 students at one point of time. But what happens to, you know, what are their queries, what are they, you know, kind of, when we are telling them, you know, medical studies are really very intense, I will say that, you know. So, I will, I will only give, you know, kind of 40% weightage or even less to theory part, I will give more to the skill part. You see, the, Anatomy is understood well when you go and practice it you know, or when you examine a patient. Then you will know more about you know the cardiovascular system, how it is, or you will know about you know respiratory system, the system, respiratory system. Because you know anatomy is closely linked to physiology because it gives it a function. Then you know what are the kind of biochemical parameters you learn through biochemistry, right? But there is a lot to you know. The practical learning, when you do the practical test yourself, and then that is important part. So that's why I said that you know these stages are very important. How a student, what the student knows, is only one tip of it. Then how he knows that will come through one-to-one -one interaction. Then he has to you know show that when we have told him, he has to show you know. And how he's going to show? Suppose I say that you know you counsel a patient you know who is suffering from let's say. A particular disease that how to all we are talking about mother to child transmission of a child infection, then he has to show how he is going to and how is it going to show that how he is going to counsel the patient. And subsequently, there is a time when he has to be weaned off and he will be individually counseling the patient. This is one example. Or let's say then how we create you know physicians or you know AT specialists and all over a period of time when they learn you know about the anatomy, physiology and all functioning of the ear and all of that. Then they learn to manage the common ear problems. First is under supervision mm -hmm. and then they demonstrate under supervision how this problem is going to be managed. Mm -hmm. Some are medically managed, some are surgically also managed. Then they independently demonstrate or independently work. That's how we make them independent in the stream world, you know, because you are dealing with human beings. That's where you cannot take the lives of human beings just for granted.